Get your, your shoulders. Okay. Stay right there, because if you right. move, I have to follow you. Right. Stay right there. Okay, you want your hand buried or you want your thumb up? I want thumb up it. or buried? I want it buried. Okay? Yes. Don't move. Wrist. Don't move. Wrist. No. Don't Wrist. move that shoulder. Wrist. 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 He's moving. Stay right there. Ready? Go. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get it. Yes. <laughs> How much are you weighing? 310. Yeah. You, you had some table time last year? I have. This is the first tournament in the year. Since last national day. How do you do against Wilson and Espy? I beat him. You beat him? Yeah. Uh, my name is Saul Ingram. Uh, I live in Chehalis, Washington. Uh, I am a professional arm wrestler. I've been for about 23 years. Uh, however, during my career, I've been beat by the likes of. Uh, you know, John Bursink Jr., uh, Alan Fisher, the best of the best. And as I got older, over my 40s, I decided, you know, what can I do to give back to the sport? Living in this little town here, I wanted to introduce them to big time arm wrestling. I, I, I hit the Chamber of Commerce up, I said, hey, you know, give me 2,500 bucks, let me get a little arm wrestling tournament coming on. So I invited Jacob and Deanna Abbott, and I started to put on a good little tournament. Well, as I got more of the town involved, I began to get sponsors and everything, and the next thing I know, I hit a lady up, I says, hey, what if we can get John Verzink here? What if we can get the best in the world here? Uh, you know, she says, well, what would it take? I says, well, put up 2,500 bucks, let me make some phone calls, and I'll offer 1,200 for first, 600 for second, uh, 400 for third. So I made a few phone calls, and son of a gun, John says, Saul, you got me, see who else you can get. My heart's just a pound, I haven't been able to sleep in I don't know how long. I'm so excited to be here. Saul's putting on a wicked event take all those big bastards down. <laughs> so who are the guys you're going to be pulling today? Uh, Len Houghton, Monster, uh, John Brzezink, one and only, and uh, Marcio. Have you pulled these guys before? <laughs> I pulled John in 99 in Tokyo, a left hand only, and it was like a magic trick or something he did on me. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and uh, I've never pulled Len, and I've never pulled Marcio. And I, I've pulled Luke numerous times, and I've never pulled Jacob Abbott. Jacob Abbott. And, uh, how long have you been arm wrestling? I've uh, been arm wrestling for about 11 years, since 93. Yeah. How did you start arm wrestling? I just started out, you know, back in uh, high school, and a couple of my buddies got a flyer, and they said I needed to go do it, went and did it. It's American amateurs, I ended up taking second place to Canadian, and uh, a couple people were like, wow, where are you from? Where are you training with? Nobody, first tournament, so a couple guys kept calling me, telling me to come practice, so went and started practicing, and here I am. As well. Yeah, I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. And, uh, How come you weren't at the Ottawa World Championships? Yeah, I, I missed that one. I oh, can't, can't hit them all, you know. I wish I could hit them all, but... But that was in your city. I know, I was away. I had, oh. had no... No right, chance. Well, hey, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, right on, Gary. You on TV? I actually I got I got dial up, so so I can't play yet. But I absolutely love it. I've seen your work at a friend's place. I, I'm a, I'm an arm TV addict already, and I don't even have it. But, really? Oh, I love it. I love it. Sweet, yeah. Man, thanks. Yeah. Good luck. Hey, thanks, Gary. Uh, hello, my name is Devin Larratt. I'm from Ontario, Ottawa. I'm here at Seoul Superstar uh, Challenge, and. I'm here to go against Luke, Jacob Abbott, Len Houghton, Marcel Barbosa, John Berzink. Hello sir, welcome to Arm TV. What is your name? My name is Luke Reimer. And Luke Reimer, how long have you been arm wrestling? I think it's been about seven years now. Seven years. How did you start arm wrestling? We had a little event in our mall and uh, we just saw the sign on the door and it looked like fun so I gave it a try and uh, I think I could only pull one arm because I, I hurt myself practicing 
the two days before with my right arm. So I just entered the left and uh, got pulled a second that day, which was pretty lucky for me. I was addicted ever since. And you're from Canada? Yes. And what got you here today? A long drive through, through Seattle rush hour. Well, because there are no better in North America than what we have here today, I think. Uh, and that's what it's all about, you know, chasing the top. Uh, everybody, everybody wants a piece of John. Everybody. In Canada, everyone wants a piece of land. Len's hard to, Len's hard to track down and he's here today. Marcio as well. I've never gotten a chance to arm wrestle Marcio. And uh, it's hard to get everybody to come together. And when you're guaranteed that these people are going to be here and in a small tournament like this, odds are I'm going to get to arm wrestle. A lot of people have never gotten to arm wrestle. And, uh, and they're the best. So that's a whole lot of learning for me that I can do. And, It'll make me a better arm wrestler, and maybe I'll get to take him down, and then they'll come chasing after me. And how did you do against John Brzezink three years ago? I surprised him uh, once, and then he punished me severely after that. <laughs> awesome. So uh, I heard you used to be 240. You used to be in the heavies? I used to be 240, yes. I'm down to 190 now, so I've lost uh, about 50 pounds. I started arm wrestling in 95 practicing with Dion and Aaron Langella West and uh, I think I heard about John in like a second or third practice probably talking about this guy whose arm is like a big magic wand whichever way uh, he wants it, you to go it'll, it'll go basically he's got counters and uh, you know heard about how he broke his arm and then it healed up and it was invincible and and the legend just grows and grows right like uh, Every, everybody knows about John Brzezink, even people who never met him, even people who are just starting out arm wrestling know about John Brzezink. Yeah, it doesn't take long on the internet to find out who's, who's at the top of arm wrestling. His name came up right away, found his question and answer page, and, and devoured everything he wrote on there as, as soon as he wrote it. What website? Uh, that would be Dave Devoto's website, and yeah, now I think it's joint with Arm TV. Right? And how about uh, Marcio Barboza? Have you pulled? You haven't pulled him? No, I've never pulled Marcio, uh, but I've seen a lot of what he does on Arm TV, and uh, you know, I've heard a lot about him. Uh, super impressive. You know, now when I think about. Pulling John, it's it's really a you know puzzle thinking of what to even try. You know, it's, it's like uh, trying to find the the least form of futility. But uh, yeah, very strong. It'll be fun watching uh, you know some of uh, the other heavy heavyweights like uh, Devin uh, seems quite primed for this, and uh, I don't think Lens pulled him either. So that'll be quite exciting. Four big guys, and then. Then you oh, and Luke there. will pull the winner of each of the, the, the two big guys. All right. Arm wrestle we'll equally the same. So we same. can put uh, like Luke, and then Len, and John, Marcio, Devin, and then me. Right. That work. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Okay. You want to write them in now, so so you know. Them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. It's going okay. to be, first match is going to be Len and John. Oh, man. The second match will be Devin and Marcio. And the third match, well, then it just kind of goes from there. I don't know how Deanna does it. Let's see, first, second, third match will be Luke and the winner of Len and John. Fourth match will be me and the winner of Devin and Marcio. And then, then it goes down to the loser's bracket. Sure. Now with the superstars. Let's get it on. These guys will also be ran down to the first through third. Center of the table. Yeah. Come on, John. Get fired up. Work for your favorite. They're getting ready to go.
Kevin Leonard on the left from Canada. Marcio Barbosa from the USA. Let's vote him on. Who wants Kevin? Who wants Barbosa? try to wear me down in the hook and uh, digging in that wrist came right up the, over, the, over the fingers. Good. Usually I don't, I don't feel like that. I feel pumped. Usually I don't feel like that. You're pumped? Mm -hmm. What do you mean usually you don't? Because it, maybe it's the rest. It's not enough. You know? We're taking a break yeah, now. Yeah, I work. Oh, okay. We're taking That's a break not... now. We're not calling you back for a little while because we didn't expect, uh, you know, that much strenuous uh, pull, so uh, 
At least we ran through the rounds right now, and I think we're sitting good right now. Nice. It's like a, uh, right hour. now, we've got the three super heavyweights, guys. We've got Len Hout and Marcio Barbosa and John Brzezik left. Luke Reimer's out. Jacob Abbott's out. Okay? The exceptional pull in between them two. Devin Laird had his hands full with Jacob Abbott. I, I thought that Luke and uh, Marcio had a really good match. I, I like to see that. that Luke and, is still pulling great at his weight now. Uh, I thought that was a really, really tight match. Uh, I think if they win again, I think I think it could be different. I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like they caught dead center, and then Marcio had a good transition. But but that was good to see. Like Luke at that weight still. That was a surprise. I thought he was going to be a wuss. I thought he was going to be a weak running guy. But that uh, was good work. And, uh, Who do you pull next? Yeah. I pull John. Yeah. Eight, we're, we're on the A side. John and I are on the E side. Marcio and Lana are on the B. Yeah, all's good. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I get a win on John. Hey, nothing's impossible, eh? Everybody can dream, eh? <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Do you feel good? Are you feeling strong still? Yeah, yeah, I feel good. Uh, I had a pretty good pump there, but uh, it's come down, and uh, yeah, I've got no pain, so I can still do all my locks. Uh, should be good. I'll, I'll be hitting them with everything I have. How do you feel? Did, did you feel anything in those guys? Uh, I, I got a little pump uh, setting up with Len. Yeah, most definitely, I felt him. He's got some definite arm strength, great back pressure. International champ, John Brzezink. Hard all day. Who was John Brzezink? Fuck yeah! Here we go. He's got a minute to get a grip. Elvis got to be on the pad. That's no, he's trying to force it there? No. Well, he needs a match. He needs to let everyone in. Off the stage, if you are not a competitor, please. Oh, These guys aren't going to start. They've got to be right, so. They've got a minute. He's going to finish with seven. The right side of the table. John, you're right. John, you're right. Maybe felt a bit. I, I thought he was giving me a little bit in the top roll, and I was like, okay, maybe maybe I try the top roll, maybe I try it. And uh, no, no top roll. I try a hook next time. I try a hook. Oh, I want another shot. I feel like if I can stop Marcio, I feel like I'm gonna have him. I feel like if I stop him, he's mine. But if you stop, if I stop, I gotta stop. A triple A event is you've got to plant your elbow. I hate it more than anybody else because yeah. I, I like to actually float around the pad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in this in this situation, I've got to I've got to feel my elbow. So you got and your kind of move. I'm telling you, the way you move, you're gonna come off that pad every time because you've got a tremendous power. You're quick and you just you know, just just move it. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to think about keeping the elbow on the pad. Completely. Bring that shoulder in. Marcio, oh, get back! Bring it in. Marcio. You bring so your shoulder in. in. Both of you guys. You have to keep that in. Right. Okay. A little this way to the right side. Wrist. To the white side. I'll Wrist. do that. Okay. This toward you. Wrist. Okay, now take some out. Wrist. Wrist. Take it out. Wrist, take it out. Wrist, elbow. Wrist, you take some out too. Wrist, 
Come on, New Jersey, hit him! So, you guys, you got to set your, your shoulders. Right. Stay right there, because if you right. move, I have to follow you. Right. Stay right there. Okay, you want your hand buried or you want your thumb up? I want thumb up or buried? I want it buried. Don't move. Don't move. Inside, he had great position, but he just got tired and let up. But he, yeah, he should have stayed there. But he just ran out of steam. Good match, buddy. Give him the speed down twice. Okay, if you can keep your hands closed, I'll just straighten the wrist. Okay, John, you straighten this first. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take this out. Yeah. You take a little out. Stay right there. Ready. Go. Come on. Come on. You watch that elbow here. Watch that elbow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch that elbow. Yeah. 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 I can't see it. Superstar Showdown Champion receiving $1,200 from Jane Bates, my friend John Brzezink. Okay, folks, uh, 
I just want to take one last look, and I want everybody to look at these four people. Uh, I think it could not have been better than this, and I believe for a long time to come, us arm wrestlers and, and Shirley Hillis Washington are going to be able to see these people in action on the internet, thanks to RMPZ.